Hello and welcome to today's edition of HCP TV. Our theme once again is Lent as we are coming towards the end of the first month of our season and we're going to be looking at various things that we're doing to help prepare ourselves for our Easter journey in a few weeks time. But before we get ahead of ourselves let's go to Cathy Edge, one of our group chaplains from a summer group which is 524 based in Leicestershire and Cathy has very kindly prepared a Lenten reflection for us to share in today. Hello, it's lovely to be with you all again. I don't know about you but I'm seeing so many posts on social media with people talking about what they're doing for Lent. For me, Lent is a time for me to acknowledge my need for God. And I think in this last 11 months, there has been so much for people to live through. So many struggles, deaths, illness, isolation, and it's still going on. I personally feel that this year more than ever, we need Lent to be a positive preparation for the celebration of Easter and Christ's resurrection, the ultimate demonstration of God's love. This comes from our foundress, Catherine Macaulay. And it's a quote I'm going to keep with me this Lent. The compass goes round its circle without stirring from its centre. Now our centre is God, from whom all our actions should spring as from their source. I want to share some words with you from Pope Francis's message for Lent this year. In Lent, may we be increasingly concerned with speaking words of comfort, strength, consolation and encouragement, and not words that demean, sadden, anger or show scorn. In order to give hope to others, it is sometimes enough simply to be kind to be willing to set everything else aside in order to show interest, to give the gift of a smile, to speak a word of encouragement, to listen amid general indifference. So I invite you to ask yourself the following questions. What can I do today to demonstrate and experience that reality that God loves me so much? What can I do for myself? What can I do for others? What can I do for God? And of course, Pope Francis gives us some wonderful suggestions. So let us pray that this Lent, we may be kind, increasingly concerned with speaking words of comfort, strength, consolation and encouragement. Amen. 
may you all have a safe and blessed Lent. Amen. Thanks, Cathy, for that reflection today. So traditionally, during the season of Lent, people might give something up, sweets, chocolate, whatever. But at HCPT, we've decided to challenge people to do something extra. And that's why we have our Lourdes Challenge for 2021. So people are walking, running, cycling, skipping, even kayaking, a certain amount of miles or kilometers, and they're asking people to help and sponsor them so that once again, when we're able to go back to Lourdes, we'll be in a position to take children and vulnerable adults on our pilgrimages. One such volunteer is Colin from Group 141. You've heard of him before. He's our wonderful artist. He's got on his bike and, along with some others, is trying to cycle the whole distance to Lourdes from his home in Devon. 800 and something miles, I think it is. But we're going to hear from Colin today about how important it is to give just a little and what giving just a little can do and can make a life-changing experience for a young person or a vulnerable adult. Over to you, Colin. There was a boy um, that we took to Lourdes probably five or six years ago. And before that trip, I was doing a talk at an event, um, just talking about the group, and, and, and it was a fundraiser, so I was asking for people to make a donation at the end of the event. And lots of people, they're usually, you know, very generous, incredible generosity, which I'm always amazed at. At the end of the event, a little old lady came up to me, sort of grabbed my hand and said, that's all I've got. And gave me £2.50. Said, sorry, that's all I've got, but I'd like to have it. She was so humbled and emotional about the charity and she wanted this to go. So what I did, we, we specifically used that £2.50 for something in Lourdes. Now we took this boy to Lourdes. He was incredibly ill. Uh, we went up to the mountains. One day, Gavani, which you see, um, Gavani in Punta Spania, that's all that same area that you see me painting in the studio. We went up to the mountains. This boy had never seen the mountains before. And he, obviously, there's no way that he could get to somewhere like that being he had oxygen, he was breathing with all sorts of things. And in the mountains there's a cafe. And the £2.50 we used for his hot chocolate in the cafe. Brilliant day. And I thought that's a good use um, that this child is in an area which is... He was blown away, sitting there absolutely blown away, having his hot chocolate outside a cafe in the mountains. Stunning. Unfortunately, we got back um, and unfortunately, I can't quite remember how long after, but it's fairly soonish the boy passed away. Uh, we knew this was a possibility. It is with many of the kids we take. And it's always incredibly harrowing and sad going to a child's funeral. Um, and some of the group attended the funeral. And I can remember at the funeral, one of the teachers was reading an extract from a story he had written. And he said in this story that the best day of his life was going on the aeroplane to Lourdes, but the best day was in the mountains, having the hot chocolate in that beautiful surroundings. So it's the thing that I've always talked about when I'm doing talks, that it doesn't matter how much you give, that money will change a child's life. And I cannot think of a better example. Thanks, Colin. Isn't it amazing what some people might think £2.50 couldn't do much, but it actually made a difference in that boy's life. So that's great. Making a difference in people's lives is what family groups do, what our HCPT family does. And we're now going to go to Michelle, who's... Um, Group 86, Berry St Edmunds, and she wanted to share with us how they've tried to stay in touch during the pandemic. So during lockdown, when they haven't been able to meet, go for walks, socialise, have a bit of fun, this is what they've been up to to keep everybody in touch. Hello, it's 
it's Michelle here from Group 86. Last year has been really tough for all of us, hasn't it? Not being able to see our family and friends has really caused us all so much pain. But as our group nurse Pat once said to us, it will take more than a pandemic to keep us down. So we've put together a little montage of some of the things that we've been up to over the last year to keep our Group 86 family really close. We hope that you enjoy it. Our HCPT family is so important to us and we love you all deep, deep, deep down. We pray that we will all be together again very, very soon. But for now, we wish you good health, stay happy, stay safe. Big love. Group 86, and I would love to go back as a helper. Hi everyone, I just want to say I was so disappointed when Lord just cancelled this year, but I can't wait for next year. It's going to be really big. Hey, I'm Eloise. I first went to Lourdes as a child and then became a helper for Group 86, so I know the massive impact that this trip has on everyone that gets to go. If I could sum up Group 86 in one word, it would be magical. Hello. This one. Group A6. Hi. I was I was James Summers. Went to Lourdes in in a couple of years ago. It has been out of this world trip to Lourdes. My favourite part is the zoo. Having to hold baby rabbits and guinea pigs and others. And also, the Ringo I also enjoy. Hi everyone, it's Raj here and Lourdes has been such an important part of my life for almost five years and I absolutely love the Easter trip. My favourite thing about it is spending time on the prairie because it feels like a big holiday, being out in the sun, seeing all the other groups in their bright colours. Uh, the kids that we take are incredible young people and I'm so lucky to be part of the special 86 family. Hi guys, it's Lauren from Group 86. The trip to Lourdes will always be a very magical and special trip which is very close to my heart. You get to make amazing memories with lots of wonderful and kind people. Hi everyone, it's um, Ronan and Toby here. Uh, just a quick message to say um, how absolutely gutted I was that Lourdes was cancelled this year. Um, and although, you know, it's the highlight of my year, um, it was cancelled because of the right reasons. Um, and now really is the time to stick together, um, to look after each other. <laughs> And uh, now we can really plan for the next Hi, 12 months. I'm Kevin. I love spending time with my Group 86 family. We're really good friends and we have a great time every time we get together, especially in Lourdes. Now they've got a whole year to get to know the children better who are travelling with us next year. It's going to add a lot to the trip and it's going to be fantastic. Every year we travel seems to be our best year yet. Hi, I'm Pat, Group Nurse for Group 86. Group 86 is my second family. I love sharing the magic of Lewis with our children and I'm really... Hi, I'm Ryan from Group 86 in Bury St Edmunds. Group 86 is so special to me because it allows me to fulfil my sister's dreams and follow in her footsteps. Group 86 is an amazing family who together create amazing memories for children who deserve them. Group 86 is my extended family and it's a privilege to be a part of it. Hashtag memories. Hi, my name is Trudy and I was lucky enough to go on an amazing trip with Group 86 to Lourdes and it was honestly a life-changing experience and if anyone has been asked to go I would fully recommend it because you get to meet such loving, amazing people and I really want to go back one day and be a helper. Hi, I'm Claire from Group 86. Lourdes for me is the place of the most unimagined miracles for all the children and the groups that go. 
I can't wait to go back next year to share this amazing experience with our new group of children. So here we are at the end of our Lenten edition of HCP TV and it just remains for me to thank Michelle, Colin and Cathy for helping us put this programme together for you today. If you are interested in the Lured Challenge, the details can all be found attached to this film. We're also looking for your help, as I always say, for more ideas, more content, more stories, more prayers, more reflections that we can use during Lent, but also especially for our special Easter week um, program of events. We're going to be following the, the story of Lourdes with the apparitions throughout Lent, but when we get to Easter Saturday and the start of what would be our normal pilgrimage in Lourdes, we're going to be doing things each day for you to join in with and to listen to and to pray. So please keep your eyes on our social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, for all the things that are coming up in the future. If you think you might be able to help with anything at all, please get in touch with us on all the usual platforms. So it just remains for me to say, please stay safe. Please follow all the guidelines. Please pray for each other. Please pray for us in HCPT, the whole family of HCPT. The International Day of Prayer on the 11th of February was such a powerful day and it brought so much hope and joy and love to not just to the HCPT world but to all the thousands of people who watched anything on that day. So let's not let up with that. So on that note, let's ask for God's blessing on all of us. Goodbye, see you soon.